<laughs> Hello and welcome to another Save the Whale video. This one is me sharing my build that I've put together uh, alongside the Xenon build that I've got. So it's my supercharged 136 Xenon that I've been using for a while now. I love that before uh, the whole Ventures thing arrived as my go-to bow and I couldn't wait to get hold of it in the Ventures uh, season and luckily it is in that so you could use it and so I've been loving life like going for the random rolls just like playing Destiny in that way you just it's RNG you just want that god roll uh, I've got quite a few good rolls in there but this is about my main character my main build for the main save the world game now I have gone full on with a sniper build uh, it seems I like the Xenon bow so there's only one choice for me in terms of the hero so let's look at that first and that is Rabbit Raider Jonesy. Now, as you can see, I've also supercharged that hero because, like I say, this is my go-to build. Uh, so that is a 139 Rabbit Raider Jonesy. So he's boosted a little bit there. Uh, the reason I'll go for him, obviously, because he's got the 225% uh, sniper critical damage perk. So that in itself, when you're using the Xenon, is crazy damage when it comes to headshot crits because uh, my Xenon already does well over 200k headshots non critical. So once you add that critical damage plus the critical damage on the bow, it ends up coming up to about 570% critical hit damage. It's a lot. So that is why he's my go to. He's got the Shockwave, which I like. He's got Warcry, uh, Warcry which also can boost uh, a couple of bows, uh, arrows, even. Sorry, it's very late in the morning right now. Oh, early in the morning, shall I say. Um, so yeah, it, the war cry will last a few arrows, um, as it is quite a slow reload compared to a gun. You ain't going to get as much out of it, but your teammates are still benefiting from your war cry as well, which is also good. Now for me, there's only one team perk to go for because I'm going for a full-on sort of glass cannon damage build, and that was preemptive strike, uh, which for every hero you get an increase of damage by 6.5%. So that's times 5 on the initial hit. So anything with full health, when you hit it, you're going to get that huge bonus on your damage. You're over a 30% damage bonus added on top of your base damage on full health enemies, which is always good when you've got mist monsters coming at you that haven't been hit yet. So there's a much better chance of you one-hitting them. Now, support team, Plasma Arc. I've said this before on other videos. Anyone who watches my streams or any of my other content knows that Plasma Arc is my go-to perk. It makes everything special. On my Beetlejuice pistol build with the Founders Revolt and Bullet Chain, Plasma Arc as well, devastating build. But again here, Plasma Arc. Energy damage has a 20% chance to zap nearby enemies for 58% of the damage dealt. Now bear in mind, that's a lot of damage, anything up to 2 million at times. Um, and that spreads to all nearby enemies, 58% of that damage. And the Xenon bow pierces, so it's taken out multiple enemies, given that multiple chances to proc or take it, uh, as it hits each individual enemy. So you can literally take out entire packs with an arrow, with Plasma Arc. Then on top of that, when you've got explosive rounds with every six range weapon eliminations, you trigger an explosion, which deals 37 base damage. Now that doesn't sound a lot, but that's base damage. Then it takes into account your commander damage. So again, with one arrow, you can easily take out six enemies when there's a pack. So every arrow could potentially be an explosive round, which then is even more devastating to everything else that's around. You know, it, it's damage upon damage. Locked and reloaded. After reloading, increase weapon damage by 15% for 5 seconds. So that's per arrow. 5 seconds is not a lot. But you've only got one arrow. So every time you put an arrow in, that locked and reloaded is refreshing. Banging. So as long as you're fast on the arrows and you're not sitting there aiming for ages, getting your aim on target, and you're fast with the pew, pew, kind of thing, you are taking full advantage of locked and reloaders as well. So that's another 15% increased weapon damage on top of your preemptive and everything else. Now, I'll go with survivalist on this because I do like to get stuck in quite close at times, even though I've got a bow, because I feel confident enough to get close to packs due to the fact that I've got the explosives and the plasma arc and I can take out enemies pretty damn quick. 
Uh, and then we've got Quick Scope, which increases sniper damage by 17%. And that is Red Line Ramirez. Uh, that's the Vivalist Jonesy. Um, Skull Ranger Ramirez. I always forget a real name. You got Wukong. Is his name Wukong? Wukong. Uh, and this one for the Plasma Arc is Cyber Clops. Okay, Cyber Clops. So they are the heroes in the support team. Now, when it comes to gadgets, it doesn't matter. Use what you want. I like to use hover turrets because I've got quite good ability damage. So they can take out a lot. And Adrenaline Rush, again, I really use Adrenaline, uh, adrenaline Rush for those desperate moments. But mainly because it's a res. So Adrenaline Rush, in the heat of the action, if a teammate goes down, you can just get within a few feet of them and pop your Adrenaline Rush and not interrupt your gameplay. So for me, Adrenaline Rush is just a natural go-to for a, a team game. Now, when we go to the weapon itself, so let's go to the schematic. In fact, let's go straight to the backpack where they are. So we are looking at the Xenon Bow. And I have, again, a supercharged Xenon Bow. So we are talking about a fully supercharged build, supercharged hero, and a supercharged primary weapon. Now, as you can see, I've got two critical hit damages. One damage, one critical hit chance, which is the critical rating basically, uh, and then it's energy by default. Now some people may choose to go with two criticals instead of two critical damages. So they might go for 58% crit instead of, sorry, 51% crit instead of 38%. But then obviously when that happens, you will lose 135%, so you're going to go down to 435% critical hit damage, which is still a lot of damage. And obviously with 51% crit chance, you are going to be procking that a bit more. But for me, where I'm trying to get my numbers as big as possible, everyone likes big numbers, and I still feel like 38% is good. You know, and it's quite a fast bow, so even if you don't crit on the first one and you only do 230,000 damage, oh no, you know, the next one, you're going to finish them off. So to me, I just like the biggest number possible. So I've gone for full-on crit hit damage with a 38% crit chance. I have messed around with the 51% crit chance. And to be honest, I really couldn't feel much difference in the extra crit chances. It's there, but you don't really see it. But I did see the damage drop. So that is my uh, personal choice in stats for the Xenon. But obviously, if you've got your own personal choice, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. So let's actually go and see this full build in action. Now, I was intending on doing a, an encampment, but there's no high level encampments. This is a pain in the butt, I have to say. We've got one at 124 and one 31, so it's not like it's, uh, I'll do it solo, so it's closer to my level, so I'm not 140. So I'll go in one of the high level games, chances are, in fact, let's set that to private. So I don't get that extra damage boost. So bear in mind, I would get even more damage in a public game because you're, I'd be up to 140 and all my damage would increase. So this is just me solo. So bear in mind now that this damage is not going to be at its maximum because I am doing it solo. But you're still going to see it's some good numbers. Right, okay. Just going to take a punch in the face here. Where is he? What right above my face. Right, let's get rid of him quick. All right, here we go. They've even got healing burst on, so this will show kind of how powerful it is, I guess. Don't panic. Obviously the bees are going to get me here, something to move. Level feels a bit jittery, I'm not going to lie. Glorious animation bug of your abilities. When you do the little jump, you use your ability. You don't actually do the ability. That bug has been in the game since I don't know when. I used to hate that on Dragon Scorch. Are they all dead? Where's the last one? Oh no, another wave. So let's get over here.
It's always good to try and line up your shots with multiple enemies in your target. As you know, it pierces. It's just all about piercing. Next. All right. Next, next, next. I've got some tracer me as well. All right. And ideally, you want to be on a level ground. Now, I'm maybe stating the obvious to some players. But if you are someone that wants to try the Xenon build, always try and be on a level ground with a piercing. You know, you want to go through as many enemies as physically possible. We'll take them shields straight out. So try and line them up if you can. There's no need to panic with the bow. So even if they're up close and personal. Take them out. And you can see the explosions going off constantly as well. So as for the numbers, you have to just look at the numbers yourself. This is really about showing you my build. How it works. Why I use what I use. And how powerful it is. Where we need the crit. No panic. No panic. No panic. I want to get rid of him though. And him. Missed him. And now you can go. No panic. And survivalist has put me back to where we started, so it's all good. One hit on him. See, when you get the crit on the initial headshot, you will one hit him. The majority of them. With your preemptive strike. And if he just happens to be the sixth explosive one as well, that's going to be nice for the pack around him. So even the bow, it's like... If they, you'd have to fully draw it. If they're close, you can just pop it off in their face. And it's still going to take out the ones in the close vicinity. Like that. As long as you lined it up. Like that. You can just tap the arrows into their face. I'm going to walk out of that vicinity again and not. So. Just give it a few of that with that. Four in a row. Straight up, this is what it does in a mission. Like I say, it's a lower level mission because there wasn't an encampment for a higher area than this. So it's a few levels under me, but I've got no team boosts. So again, you need to bear in mind this damage would be boosted slightly higher if there was four people or three other people alongside me in this group. I missed one? No. And B can fly up in D spawn. Always like wait with your arrows, even if it's an extra few seconds if needed when you got lines and coming at you, just to make sure you get as many in your sights as you can. There it is. I'm already kidding them, love. Already on it. I could tramp on chips. Get away with your shields. Destroyed. One it on air. I'm sure that was a two million there. I could be wrong. Where are you? 
get close to that encampment. I've done that. Despawning. Come on, boys. Oh, you're coming as well, are you? Above my head, where is he? There he is, one at him. We keep pushing on, we, we might clear the zone. Bays. Shame I'm near this though. Another big fight. Here we go. Come on, spawn faster, spawn faster, spawn faster. Let me get rid of you. Surrounded. Not gonna panic. Stand your ground. I'm gonna go to the shield ones if I can. Definitely the healing one. Get rid of you. Got these traps in here. I hate them, they do that. Shield pushes. I want to get through. Let me 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 through. Little buggers they are. And again, animation, no move. How have they not fixed that after three years? I have to ask, how has that, that not been fixed after three years? Now, I could speed this up by doing turrets, but that would defy the whole point of this video, really, wouldn't it? The whole point of this is the build, the arrows. Now, as much of the turrets would absolutely rip them apart now, that wouldn't do me any favours in showing the build. Took longer than expected, though. Terrible. I'm trying to get the gunslingers, I think that's all of them. This is not good. Trying, but yeah, oh, only one, more. one more, and here we are. I might use tur turrets. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. That's one. Take it down. I didn't actually need to press the turret that time. I actually generally didn't. Damn it. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm trying, love. I'm trying. That 
that's not good. No, that's not good. No! Get the KT spikes me. Just me and Shockwave here for the last wave. Get the high ground on this bit here. I did not want that bugger taking me out the last second. That is the build. I'm sorry I couldn't have shown that while recording this. On a higher level encampment, there isn't one available on the map as I showed you today's reset. If you want a sniper build, I do suggest if you have the Xenon and you have Rabbit Raider Jonesy and these heroes in this support team and that team perk, try it. Honestly, try it. If you've tried the Xenon and you like the Xenon, then you will absolutely fall head over heels in love with this build and that weapon. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Yeah!